Yes, yes, yes. Magic Mike in that mix. And on the Zoom, we got calling all the way in, Zooming all the way in from California, the West Coast. We got my man, Rook the Producer. What's going on, Mike G? Man, shout out to Canada, man. I appreciate y'all having me and tapping in with me, man. I appreciate this. You know, it's all good to have um, state love, but when you get outside of the states, woo! Shout out to <laughs> Magic Mike, too, man. Yo, what's going on, my brother? Thank you so much for coming on. Man, I've known you for a long time. I've known your brother. You know what I'm saying? Your brothers. We, I think we played Parkour, uh, Parkourus, right? We played him. Oh, yeah, that's uh, my that's 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 my brother. Shout out to him, man. He going through something right now. Uh, he had a little situation in his family and stuff, man. Uh, my condolences out to his family, man. Peace be with him because, you know, we all want to be entertainers and we all love the glitz and glamour and stuff. But this stuff is still real life. You feel me? So so shout out to my brother Pecorius. You know, we all with you, man. From we all from with you from uh, Canada to Highlands. You feel me? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Literally the Highlands. What happened with Pacorus? You know, what's going on with him? Well, I don't really want to speak on that because okay. that's not that's not my situation and I don't want to disrespect that dude. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to say what I said and then you feel me? All right. <laughs> you know what I'm well, Rook the producer, you know what I mean? You're native of, you know what I mean, the West Coast. What is it? Uh, the North Highlands? Why do y'all call it the North Highlands? Are you guys like on, on the hill or something or what? <laughs> and listen, the reason why we call it North Highlands is because it's like, it's like, it's all Sacramento, but it's its own island. It's its own, like, like, um, I don't know. It's like its own type of atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? We get sectioned out from the rest of Sacramento. So we standing up and, and letting them know that we here too. You feel me? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I you know, you, you know how it is when you when you got to represent. You know what I'm saying? You got to stay firm on all tens. You know what I mean? You got to stay firm. You got to stay positive. You know, regardless of what anybody brings your way. You know what I mean? If you know you in the right, you know what I mean. That's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? You know, exactly. no, it's crazy. No, it's crazy. They want they want you to give you your best, right? And you yeah. giving your best, and it is a problem when you don't give them your best. There is no like. There's still a problem. So if I can't see eye to eye with you, I got to walk. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, you know, if you feel like walking from walking away from something, like within 30 seconds before you get involved, you just got to <laughs> do it. You got to do it. You know what I mean? You got to go with your first instinct. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like for, for, you know, I don't want to say names, but, you know, people hold things all on top of you. You know what I mean? And, yeah, you know, they yeah. think they can order you around. Without this thing they have on top of you, you can't even look at me. You'd be running. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, uh, you know, I just had enough, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's time to go forward. So tell us, you know, your upbringing with all your, your brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? You guys grew up in the West Coast. How was it? Because y'all are so multi-talented. I think your sister, she, she's a fitness and she sings. Fitness. Uh, your brother. It all. Yeah, your brother's R&B singer. Um, yeah, let's just talk about it. How was the upbringing? Man, our upbringing was, you feel me? Um, for me, it was cool because that's all I seen, all I... I grew, I, I was born in Frisco, San Francisco, California. So like when we was out there, it was like a lot of drugs and uh, criminal activities. And I seen that a lot because my mom had to hustle because my dad wasn't around, you feel me? So I, I was in them hallways with her when she was selling crack and shit at four or five years old, you feel me? In the projects. But we didn't live out there, but she, that's where she hustled, you feel me? And and she had to take me with her because I was one of the kids that didn't leave her side because I felt like I had to protect my mom at all times, you feel me? Even at that early of age, at four or five years old, I felt like I had to protect my mom, you feel me? So after that, you know, we moved to Sacramento, California, and uh, uh, it was rough, just as rough, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't as much, but it was it was rough. You know, we went to school. We was the new kids. You know, we had to fight a lot. You, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we, we moved around in Sacramento. We moved around in Sacramento, and then we came to Highlands. And that's where I went to most of my schools at in North Highlands. So naturally, I, I, I became, that became my uh, habitat or, or, or where I resided at most of my time. You feel me? Of course. 
Now, you know, with the West Coast was one of the leaders, you know what I mean, in, in, in like, to say, the early 90s, you know what I mean, with Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. You know, how much was that G-Funk? How much did that play a, play a part in you growing up? <laughs> what the hell? That is not even the question. Like, 100%. 100%. Percent, you can't you can't take away nothing that uh when you say G funk, I think of Warren G though. But uh, when you talk well, about well, Dr. Like, like you know the whole hyphy movement, it's the whole West oh, Coast. Ooh. You know what I mean? E forty from see now, see now you talk about different. You you, you down which way you want? You talking about two different dynamics, my brother? Which way you want? Just in general, right? Like some of the West Coast artists that you grew up listening to in that period. Ooh. You know what I mean? That era, like hey, the early nineties, Matt. Dre, Mac Dre, Mac motherfucking Dre. If y'all don't know who Mac Dre is, y'all gotta go do y'all research. E forty, you feel me? E forty, be legit, short. be, be legit. legit. You feel me? Tupac, you feel me? Tupac, of course, of course, Tupac. But look, we had I I M P. You feel me? Scandalous from uh uh Frisco. You know, we had we had a lot of uh, Planet Asia people, uh, Federation. Um, 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 what's 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 brud name? Uh, Spice One. That's right. Souls of Mischief. Souls of Mischief. The whole hieroglyphics. Because that's you feel me, a Zion. Oh, yeah. no. You feel me, like. like yeah. One thing. Gotta, one we, thing I will say, man. The West Coast is very versatile. You know what I mean? Like very versatile. Like big ups to the East Coast. Like you know, I'm an East Coast head, right? I still love the West Coast. But for some reason, the West Coast has always been different. Different genres of styles. You got the boom bap out there. You got G funk, like I said. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Hyphy. Hyphy, yeah, me? the hyphy movement. Oh now, man. now Mozzie, now Mozzie killing it right now. Mozzie killing it. I ain't gonna even lie. I, I'm an old, I'm an old, I'm an old man. Tell the audience what Mozzie is. <laughs> Hey, Mozzie, Mozzie is is a young, talented rapper from Sacramento, California. That actually has been putting putting on for the whole West Coast, been featured in with Game, you know, a lot of people that that uh, uh, E40, uh, uh, Filthy Rich, Jay Stalin, he been he been holding it down for for us right now. You feel me? So shout out to Mozzie. y'all go do y'all research on him too because he wanted the hottest out right now. You know, I think we we you know I think I inter I interviewed Lexi Pantera right. Uh, a while ago, I think it was like a year and a half ago, and she's got a track with Mozzie, and I heard Mozzie, and I think he's dope, man. He got bars. I will say that you all got some serious bars out there, you know. It's a struggle. I mean, I mean, like it's a lot going on out here. Like you got gang, gang life. Then you got people that move from the Bay Area that's that's in a mob life. Then you got like. Uh, LA people that move down there that's still in the gang life and bring more of their culture down there. You understand what I'm saying? So Sacramento is a is a like a melting pot, really. Like you got Asians that's Crips, Bloods. You got mm -hmm. Mexicans. You like 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 you could get into it with anybody out here. You feel me? Of course, man. Of course. Now, how you been handling this whole Black Lives Matter and this whole COVID situation? Oh, you, that's a touchy subject right there, my brother, because I don't really mess with that Black Lives Matter, my dude. You know what, man? Uh, that, you know, organization has been getting a lot of problems. I don't <laughs> want to get into it. Hey, hopefully, 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 like, hopefully, yeah. hopefully we can get like an ex-member or somebody that could tell us. Because well, I'll tell yeah. you right now, if it's a black organization, why do white people run in it? You know what I mean? Like, you no disrespect. No disrespect. But I ain't, I ain't going to get into that. But this is, this, is, this is how I grew up. I grew up on black leaders. You understand what I'm saying? Like when you talk about Bay Area, you're talking about Black Panthers. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not, I, I grew up on real men, you feel me, in my life and shit. So so um I I look I look to me as a leader. You know what I'm saying? I look to me as what can I do? Like, like I just have to go do community service for, for North Highlands because I want to give back. I terrorize that that city. You feel me? I terrorize mm -hmm. that city. You feel me? I used to do robberies, uh, uh, house clicks. You feel me? Shooting at people and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So, right now, at, at my age, I want to give back to the to the young kids and and show them like, hey man, y'all better slow down right now. <laughs> you feel me? Because you don't want to go to that pen. You feel me? You of, course, <laughs> of course not, man. You know what I mean? Because it's not fun and games. Pen, 
state penitentiary, uh, jail, whatever the situation is. You don't want to be in there. Now you got all. this. Now you got this album. Okay, it's called Married to the Mob, and big ups for you for that for that uh, promo you did. With your champagne bottle going out to me. Respects and love, my brother. You know what I mean? Hey, man. That. Mary hey, to Mary to the Mary to the mob. Hey, <laughs> hey! Shout out to Magic Mike. He's been rocking with me for a long, long time, and I appreciate his time and his effort and everything that he's been doing for me. Of course, you man. Feel me? So I had to pop a bottle virtual, you know, virtual. We 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 toasted virtually. You feel me? You know what? These days, man, with this whole you know COVID and this whole change over the world, you know, we got no choice but to do it like that. You got this one track, it's called Run It Up. Oof. Let's talk Oof. about Run It Up right now. Yeah, man. Uh, run It Up, man. It's just like, go get that money. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what position you in. Don't, don't trip about nothing. Go get your money. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't pocket watch nobody. Go run it up. See them blues? Yeah, go run it up. You feel me? Like, turn it up, you know? Hey, hey, hey right now, Right now, COVID showed us how to be real hustlers. You got to be a real hustler to survive right now. You feel me? You got to be a real hustler, so go run it up. All right. We're going to hear this track, Run It Up. Now, how can they get a hold of you? Do you have social media? Do you have all that? Yep. Uh, get a rug beat on IG. Get a rug beat on Twitter. Uh, get a rug beat on um, TikTok. <laughs> uh, Mobilati Rickalati on Facebook. Man, just hit me up, man. I'm I'm always available. I do beats. I mix and master. I do all the stuff. You Let's talk me? about the production. Like, I forgot to even talk about that. How did you get into <laughs> producing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, because you're you're a dope artist, man. So you're doing everything. Like, how'd you get into production here? Hey, sometimes, sometimes, you know, you gotta take a back seat and and build up relationships and network. You feel me? When you do that, then you have more uh, leverage up in this rap game with people and getting features and stuff. You feel me? So I had to take a back seat and try to uh, produce and connect with people because it seemed like when I was doing music and stuff, I had a lot of competition. You know what I'm saying? So I took a back seat, got, got my network game up. You feel me? And then I said, you know what? I'm about to dump on these niggas, man. <laughs> I'm about to kill these niggas real quick. You feel me? And I so, yeah, my brother, that was very interesting. Very, very interesting story. You know, man, I, I've been through a lot this last, this past week. You know I mean? I want to get too personal, but I had to make a real changeover, right? Because if I feel like, you know, if individuals don't have, you know, really good intentions for you, like they could say they got good intentions, but their actions speak louder than words. And if you feel like, you know, getting out of a situation, don't wait till the last minute. Just get out of it. You know what I mean? I keep saying that because I wish you all knew what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, bro, we're going to push forward no matter what. You know what's crazy? Anytime black sure. people come, anytime we, you know, it's not about black and white. But I find like anytime we come up with something, you know what I mean? It's always usually trying to, they're always trying to take it from us. You know what I mean? Or, <laughs> or, or try to claim it's their own. You know what I mean? Or, or they put somebody in a position of, I don't know, like, like a like a hip hop like a producer of a hip hop show, but yet the person is not hip hop. You go on the you go on the Instagram. There's no you know identification that they're hip hop. You know what I mean? They're they're in gardens. They're wearing freaking mommy skirts and come gatekeepers. on, man. No, not even gatekeepers. Just frauds. You know what I'm saying? Frauds. I mean, I'm <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no, I'm telling you, man. It's like you go on the person's Instagram. You're like this person ain't hip hop, but yet they put them in charge of running a. Like, uh, you know what I mean? A, a section of the hip hop movement. I don't like it. You know what I mean? Again, yeah. you know, it's funny. It gives them authority to talk. Like if they're a little higher than you and they're in hip hop, it gives them authority to, you know, look down on you, walk down you. Meanwhile, it's, it's brothers like me and you that are the architects here. You know what I mean? That are the gatekeepers of this culture. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, right? <laughs> man. Hey, man. God ain't gonna make nothing easy. So we gotta go hard right now. We got to run it up. <laughs> Brother, can I tell you something, man? I love how you said that. He will not make it easy for you. If it makes it easy for you, then yeah, it's going to be something difficult. Well, not, not even just that. There's going to be something difficult in the end. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I learned hey. it. I learned that. <laughs> yeah. 
you want to go ahead you want to go head on with it you don't want to see it in in disguise you know what i'm saying you don't want to see it later down the road you want to you want to know what's what, what's the battle what i got to do right now you know what i'm saying so i could work up to it right now so i could build my body up to it so i could build my mind my spirit up to it right now and i, I could go ahead first i felt it coming man i felt it coming that's why during the corona like the COVID, my work sped up. You know what I mean? Like different technologies, I was starting to learn how to use different programs right away because God himself knew that this time was coming. You know what I mean? And, right. and, and, and I love it, man. It's great, you know? It's great, right? Like people get power over you because they have something over you. When they don't have that over you, they get scared. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going through that myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually going through that myself, but you yeah. know, what I what I did, I prayed to God to uh, control the way I react to that. You know what I'm saying? Because people poking at me right now, so it's like you know what people been poking at me, but I had enough of it. You know what I mean? Y'all can go fuck yep. yourselves, right? Because I, because me, man, I work too hard, right? I'm in that position. Yep. I'm in that position. I work in that position for this little little this little thing to come talk to me the way they want to. Like get out of here, right? But. <laughs> But man, you know, married to the mob. You know what I'm saying? Why are you married to the mob? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. And I know you yes, mean I that. Am. I know you mean that. <laughs> so run it up. Who produced what? Okay, run it up. Obviously, you produced this or what? And where was it recorded? Yeah. Where was it recorded? I'm doing everything, man. Where was it recorded? At my house, in my studio. In your house, in your studio. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know, if they go to your social media, they can see this beautiful studio, can't they? Nope. <laughs> You're smart, my brother. You don't need to put your studio out there. You know what I mean? I don't hate when exactly. people do that. They put all the equipment out there. It's like, is Jack going to be home at 6 o'clock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's I like, ain't putting no locations. I ain't putting nothing. Nope. Nope. Just see me when I post my videos. See what I want y'all to see. You feel me? Man, you remember when we first met? Isn't it crazy the way the world is just, you know what I mean? The way technology just transformed. Isn't it? Isn't, isn't that yeah, crazy? Yeah, your dreads were shorter. <laughs> Not even just that. We, we had more tolerance. My doctors, my doctors told me to Zoom them like, man, if I don't, you don't set a real appointment, I'm trying to come in and get the checkup. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, boy? Can I tell you something? We're so dedicated to this game. You know what I mean? Like I set the alarm because, you know, up here it's like Thanksgiving weekend. I set the alarm in Canada here. I set the alarm and I thought I heard the alarm. I looked. I was like, yo, man, I got to I got to get to that to that artist right there. Mm -hmm. So, again, my brother, we apologize, you know, for all that. I just got all comfortable. So I was up till five o'clock in the morning, you know, editing videos. And you know I mean, over here at Magic Productions. But we're going to hear this track. Run it up. Anything last you want to say to the to the world right now? Man, I appreciate y'all listening to me, man. Appreciate y'all tapping in with Mabalati, Rickalati, and Magic Mike. You feel me? We on the Magic Show. And don't you forget it. You know, the Magic Show. I like how you did. I like how you said that. See, folks, we've transformed. See, we had the Magic Hour from 2 to 3 every Friday. Then we, And also, we had the Magic Mix every Saturday from 12 to 2. But right now, we're going to have one show. We're going to take everything and form as one show. We're going to bring it back to the Magic Show. Right from two to two to four every Friday, and then on hey, Saturday. I, no, 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 listen, on, listen on Saturday, from twelve to two, it repeats. So Friday, you got it. Saturday, you got it. So that's where we're gonna do one show, and we're gonna package this show. You know what I mean? Because having those two shows like that, it was just, you know, what I mean, like, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't stack something in an hour, right? It's like a sardine can. You can't do it. Oof. You know what I'm saying? One hour a show like Magic Mike, you got to do that in two hours. So two to four hours, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, just don't, don't give this man one hour. Don't give this man one hour and think he can, you know. You know, no, sometimes they give you a short period of time because you're just too good at what you do and you might just take all the airwaves, right? So Exactly. exactly. <laughs> they, don't want, they don't want this black man taking the airwaves, especially in a, in a, in a, in a city. I don't want to get into it, man, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have a Zoom, brother. I'm going to put out a Zoom with just me talking, let you all know what the fuck is going on in behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Yeah, some of these, I with some of these, with some of these devils, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not in that sense, but you know, they causing problems, man. They devils, man. They evil. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's I, just I, it. I, I understand, man. 
Hey, we started off as the magic show. That's what I remember. You know what? Can I tell you something, brother? It's 360. You know what I mean? It is 360. Five years this week to the date. I don't want to get into a five years to the date. So everything's 360. Then I get bounced back over here. But when I get bounced back over here, technology's booming. Right? Yeah, Last, when, I, when I left this technology, it was only a few, few little heads on it. Now, you don't have to do much in the digital realm. You know <laughs> so now coming back to digital, I love it. Oh, I love it, man. I love it. I love Hell it. Hell yeah. That's where you came from. All right, man. Well, you know what I mean? We're going to hear this track right now. Run it up. And, uh, you know, Rook, the producer, thank you so much for coming on, man. You know what I mean? We just kept it real simple, this interview. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate your time, man. You got to get it. You got to get hey, it. Hey, y'all go get married to the mob on iTunes right now, too, man. You got to get ready for work or something, right? Man, I've been at to get ready. I'm I'm already ready, though. I don't. You feel me? I came on ready. I'm about to just. The <laughs> magic show. I love saying the magic show. It's only one. It's only one word now. It's only one show. Market that one show instead of having a thousand shows. But <laughs> uh, Rook, again, is there anything you want to say to the world, real quick? Hey, go get that married to the mob on iTunes, Spotify everything man and go uh tap in on instagram get a rook beat all right mr rook rook the producer here's your track run it up right here on the magic show stay tuned one Bra. <laughs>